Hello, my name is Jenna Wachowicz with Mass Golf, and today I'm going to go over the score posting features that the Gin app offers you. Um, if you open up your Gin app, you'll see that post score button is the first one in blue right there. I'm going to go ahead and pick that and then also select the course that I'm going to be playing. So I'm going to go ahead and pick TPC Boston, and then you'll see your different score posting options. You can post hole by hole while you play your round. You can post hole by hole with statistics, or at the end of your round, you can post your total score, front nine, back nine, and total. I'm going to show you the hole by hole with statistics because this is a feature that has been here, um, but I didn't start using until very recently, and I think it can be very beneficial for those of you trying to track your progress, whether or not you're a new golfer or an avid golfer. Um, I'm going to pick the nine hole option just to make this a little bit more efficient as I go through it. You have the tee selection, the hole you're starting on, the score type you can put in all of those um, details and then click that enter hole by hole score button so what's really cool and you'll see it puts me right on hole one because that's the hole that i said that i'm starting on it will list your total score at the top to par at the top as well and you have the option to select what score you've gotten on each hole as well as now tracking your statistics throughout your round um, you have that green and reg feature, the green and regulation. Um, you know, it, it does track your misses as well as your putts, which is really cool. You can go up to four putts. Hopefully that's not, um, that's not something that you run into, um, but it's just really, um, sorry, it's just really helpful to be able to go through each hole and putting in your different stats because at the end of the round, it will show you everything that you've done throughout that round. So I'm just going to go and plug in some of this information here. And you'll also see that that GPS feature is listed there below on the bottom left as well. Um, I'm going to also select a much higher score so you can see how the adjusted score posting works for your adjusted score at the end of the round, which is another great benefit to posting either hole by hole or hole by hole with statistics while you're playing um, because it will make it a little bit easier for you when posting your score at the end. So you'll see here I have my scorecard. It's showing um, each score that I put in as well as the statistics on the bottom of the scorecard. Um, what I wanted to show you is, see, on hole seven, I listed a 10. Um, and my adjusted score based on my handicap that I am supposed to post is going to automatically be done for me, as well on hole five there. I, I had a nine, but my adjusted score is a six. So then you'll see my gross score is a 48, but that adjusted score to post is 43. So then when you go to post this score, you know, you have all of your statistics here you'll then see that it has some really, really cool features for you to track your progress between your scoring summary, your putts, um, your, you know, your green and regulations, your driving accuracy. It gives you all of this um, helpful information that will really help you track your progress throughout the season, whether or not, again, you are a brand new golfer or an avid golfer.